the voters were mean spirited to vote this in, what do you? How do you think this law actually made it through? It wouldn't have. It didn't make it through last time. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I, 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 I would never have expected it. No. I, I think a lot of the supporters, most of the people I talked to, were against it, but they felt so confident that this kind of law couldn't pass. A lot of them got busy with the game and busy partying, and they did not vote because they thought it was in the bag. They thought, oh, that's covered. There's no. Everyone else is, is against it, so it's okay. So only because they had a false sense of confidence, plus they got distracted by the uh, major event of the World Series, they didn't vote. Now they're all regretful, going, oh my God, I really should have voted because I didn't, oh my God, that was the most important issue because everyone has a right to sit and lie if you're not causing harm. Exactly. And uh, so we're advocating that people make sure that everyone sitting is going to get ticketed, including, I mean, during the Giants game, we saw so many Giants fans that were from out of town, they looked expensive clothes and they were so tired, they were sitting all over the sidewalks, but they weren't going to get ticketed. No. In fact, we saw them with open containers, but they weren't ticketed. But it, so it's like, cool, if, if you're with the big money and supporting the big millionaires and billionaires in a big national it's okay sport, to sit it's down. okay to break the laws because you're cool because you got money. Yeah. Selective enforcement. And that's, that's, just, that's just so ridiculous. Most of the people are homeless only because we don't have leadership that they failed to provide jobs. They failed to keep jobs here in San Francisco for us. Out of town contractors come in, promise a bunch of stuff, say nobody's qualified, even though we got people with master's degrees that are homeless. They don't even look in the homeless. They don't even want to target the homeless. They'll, they'll say it, they'll put it in the contract, they're going to target locals, and they don't. They import labor at cheaper wages from out of town, and it just happens over and over again. And it's disheartening because we've got so much talent in homeless world that's being underutilized. And they could all be not homeless if the money was diverted towards prevention instead of criminalization. This is going to end up as toxic assets. No, no one's going to pay their fines, whether they're rich or not. No one's going to go to court on it. Uh, they're going to bundle that stuff under securities and sell it for 50 cents on the dollar to a Swiss bank. Then they're going to yell at us later because they were defrauded, because no one told them. That, well, it'll put more, put more people on the street that won't be able to get housing because they were ticketed for sitting down. Right, and the way they did in L.A. It's a, it's a, it's a, a, a catch-22 situation. In Los situation. Angeles, they disguise it as it's only a ticket. They didn't tell you that it gives them the right to search a person, arrest them for uh, having a minor minor possession, in, like in a drug-free zone. They weren't displaying it. It was in their pocket. They weren't using it. But only because they got searched because of a sit and lie ticket. Now, when they empty out their pockets and find the drugs in a drug-free zone, they're ineligible for diversion. So these guys are not just going to get a ticket. They're going straight to prison and the prison industry is laughing at San Francisco because you all fell for it. The prison system is going to make a bunch of money off this and you're going to clear the homeless streets. When they all sue, you're going to pay millions in a constitutional lawsuit for a law you shouldn't have created to begin with. The problem is jobs and affordable housing and safe conditions in the SROs. What about the ACLU? Aren't, don't the ACLU have an answer for this one? I don't know why. The, the last lawsuit that they did, they did an out, out of court, a t they did an unpublished court settlement, which means they didn't publish why it was deemed to be unconstitutional. They said they have to wait for another plaintiff to come up. We don't know if the ACLU completely buckled or they're using it as a bargaining chip for some future campaign, but for some reason, ACLU did not go all the way and the, 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 the lawsuit that the homeless people won against Sit in Line LA was not published. But when someone else comes along, that's not ACLU, I guess, they can do the same challenge, the same court case, and they'll win. But this time it'll be published. And I know in San Francisco, the first ticket that goes out is going to a federal court. And San Francisco will lose just like Fresno lost. Fresno lost when they're trying to take people's property away. That won them a $2 million settlement. Now the Fresno homeless people run their own programs. And uh, the former mayor was Gene Autry, who was on uh, Bubba on... Um, heat of the night, and he apologized to the people of Fresno and said, we've been treating you discompassionately for 40 years. Now, you're going to run your own homeless programs. If uh, we see your property on the street, now we have to wait three days. We have to tag it three times. Then we got to move it to storage and put a public notice. you got 90 days to reclaim it. So they can't steal people's property like they used to with bulldozers. The Supreme Court will recognize that even a person without money is entitled to every right and benefit that a rich man does, if not more so. Anyway, that's it. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully they will if we haven't completely lowered our standards of justice. Yeah. Hey.
shit down. Sorry. I would lie to you about that. <laughs> and then followed by your sister. I would lie to you. So get in the lift. And do, the food not bombs is the key, and the food we have is always free. <laughs> and back in the early, late 80s, early 90s, they passed a law saying that it would make it illegal to serve free food. Yeah. Out in the park. And did we give up? Did we say? What did he say? That to, to, to follow that law would be given a, to the voters. The voters never had a chance to vote on it. But we just kept serving. It took a beat. So how could the voters have done this? How could the, why, why the turnout uh, in favor of Prop L? Why do you suppose? I think there's a lot of misinformation out there. We tried to counter it, um, but we were working with a budget of two cents for their every dollar. I mean, this is a campaign of $410,000 uh, to get Prop L passed, and it, and it worked. Um, and I think it's actually really impressive that it was such a small margin uh, that voted in favor of Prop L. So do we have a legal leg to stand on? What, what's the ACLU? They, they've got to do, you know, have the something up their sleeve for us. The ACLU is interested in this case, disability rights advocates are interested in this case. A whole bunch of folks are interested in this case. Um, We've been meeting with lawyers pretty much nonstop. Um, we actually have like seven legal le legs to stand on, and the question is, which one are we gonna are we gonna go with? Um, so we're gonna win this. Uh, we're not sure exactly which legal strategy we're gonna start with, um, but we are gonna win this. Well, do we have more of a constitutional leg to stand on than say uh, yes on no on eight, or is it about the same? It's not the same. We. I mean, it's, it's a sad statement about our Constitution that, that uh, things were so difficult with Prop 8, but we actually do have far better uh, legal grounds uh, than, unfortunately, they had. Um, sit -lie laws have been struck down for constitutional reasons in Cincinnati, in Tallahassee, in St. Petersburg, in Los Angeles, and actually right here in San Francisco. Uh, so I'm not too worried about us winning. It's, it's been done before, and we'll do it again. You give me hope. Thanks for giving us hope. So I'm standing for just a few minutes. Yeah.